Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in this video we are back playing some more Minecraft Hardcore today. That's right, um, so, shoot. In the last video, we made an epic, uh, lake. I transformed, like, I made a lake of some sort with a, its own lake house. Uh, I'll put a card right up there for you guys so you guys can see that. And, um, I also did a bit off camera. So, I started, I want to get, uh, worked on my maxed out armor and gear and stuff, because I want to try to head to the nether today. That's, uh, the nether can be very scary, though, and very dangerous, so that's why I want to be careful. Yes, he actually got on there for once. But, um, that's why I want to be careful. So, so far my gear is a wheelbarrow, which actually, I got sharpness for it, and quite a lot of other enchantments. I just need another sharpness for book, and it'll be fully maxed. Rock Tickler, we got Fortune 3, Efficiency 5, again, I put um, another Efficiency 4 book on that, Mending and Unbreaking 3, so maxed out. Our Boots, Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, and Mending, I'll need to add Feather Falling 4 to it though, um, to max that out, that's really what I need. Unbreaking 3, I could add Thorns to these to make um, it stronger. And this one, Respiration 3, Protection 4, Aqua Infinity. I could also get Depth Strider on the Boots, and um, I'm going to need Swift Sneak and Soul Speed. But, um, Swift Sneak is something you get down in the Ancient City, and Soul Speed is something you get in the Nether from, like, Bastions and stuff, or by trading. So, um, that's why I went ahead and got 38 levels, and also, I, you're probably also wondering how I got Mending. I actually made a Villager Breeder, that's right, um, it's down in the village over there, and I got a Librarian Trading that trades Mending. So, we need to see, what I like to do in order to get a good trade, is we need Feather Falling, and sharpness four, so you can just probably want to put. I don't need feather flying one or smite one, but you can put uh, the sword in here, so you can see. Uh, no, there's no sharpness four, so I won't want to do that. Depth Strider three. Mm. I have four diamonds. Why not? Should I just should I just do that? I don't know. I might need to get more diamonds to be honest, because. Uh, Six diamonds, then I craft the sword, but what if I want to make... Should I... Okay, Depth Strider 3. Oh. No. Wait a minute. Can I even combine those? Twenty? You know what? I don't think I really want that now that I think about it. We're going to put those ones in the grindstone. No, not that one. Fire protection four, yeah, no. Protection three, depth strider. I like depth strider, but it's not worth that, really, to be honest. Dude, let's go. I just put the stone sword in and realized it was sharpness four, dude. So now if we put two diamonds there, craft ourselves a diamond sword, there goes all of our diamonds, all of our life savings, basically. But now we can get that sharpness four, baby. Let's go. Looting three as well. I don't need that, but now... Oh, uh, well, let's see. Feather Falling 3. I'll take Depth Strider 2 as well. Okay. We got some good enchantments. So now, Sharpness 5. Sharpness 32. What? Oh, crap. Dude. That's, that's expensive. 30, well, it could be 39, to be honest. So, it's not bad. What about Protection 4 and Feather Falling 3? That's 15. Okay. We can get that. And now we have Feather Falling 3 in our boots. To max out, we would just need Depth Strider 3 and Feather Falling... Depth Strider 2 again and Feather Falling 3. Uh, to be honest, not actually too bad. It's, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. I can deal with that. Now I just need to go grind a lot more levels. 32 more levels. <laughs> okay. Eventually, I'm definitely going to want to make a way better mob farm. I mean, this one does give me quite a few XP, but it takes a long time, dude. Like, probably 20 minutes to get to level 30. Or maybe that's just because I have mending on this and that. Dude, this is going to be a crazy sword at the end. <laughs> Look how many enchantments are in it. Jeez. Dude, this inventory situation is getting a bit out of hand, bro. Like... This, these stuff, this is full to the brim with actually a bunch of, I do not like arrows, you know? Let's get, uh, let's get rid of all these arrows. Yeah, I don't, I don't need these arrows, dude. Er, bows. 
That's the annoying thing, bro, about killing skeletons, is you have a chance to get bows. And like, bro, who even needs those? Like, not me, bro. <laughs> Ugh. All I really care about, dude, is the, uh, is, to be honest, is the rotten flesh, dude. Give me all that rotten flesh, bro. Oh, and all that sweet experience as well. But most importantly, the rotten flesh. Now, now, let me explain. I know lots of you are probably like, what? Why? Why do you want rotten flesh? Well, um, rotten flesh is actually great for, uh, for trading, dude. After this, I'm gonna go down to my, uh, villager trading place, whatever. And, uh, I'm gonna trade all this rotten flesh, dude, for so many emeralds. It's gonna be great. Oh yeah, all that experience, dude. Let's go. Just in time for night, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh shoot, dude. Why are there so many skeletons under there? Jeez. Ow. Ow. Oh dude, lava looks amazing with these shaders, bro. I love complimentary shaders. Like, dude, I'm a fan of them now, dude. <laughs> look how good it makes Minecraft look. Like, jeez. Uh, why are there so many mobs? <laughs> No! Ow! Bro, I don't have time to deal with you right now, okay? I have enough experience. I don't need this. I don't- I do not need this right now. Jeez, my base looks really- <laughs> I know, I get sidetracked so easily, dude. And if there is- there was- For some reason- Oh, no. I- You know what I need to do? I need to set up lanterns, dude. Like, lots of light all around my base. So now, if we take wheelbarrow, combine them with- that sharpness four, we have a maxed out sword. Sharpness five, mending, fire aspect two, sweeping edge three, looting three, and knockback two. I think that's maxed. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not very sure. Ten attack damage, well. And then we got rock. I think that's, ma I mean, there's obviously other enchantments for these as well. Like, I also have this thorns two book, which I do want to put on my chest plate or whatever. Either diamond leggings or diamond chest plate, whatever. But yeah. Oh shoot, dude! You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to stop by my villager breeder. I think I need to get mending on all of my gear now. That's what I'm gonna try to do, which means more experience. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, is that my parrot or is that an actual baby zombie? <laughs> I don't know anymore. I really don't. Know. Well, that literally was a baby zombie. Okay. You can't tell, dude. That parrot. I love it, but it's annoying as crap, dude. Did an arrow just go in the water? What? <laughs> also, now would actually be a good time to uh, get some wheat. So now it actually has a use for something, right? I literally do not want to have to like avoid. I'm just going to break all of this wheat, dude. All of it. All of this wheat, dude, is now mine. Mine. Why do I have so many seeds, dude? Let me just, uh... No, I want that. That'll be fine, yeah. I don't know what it is about harvesting wheat, dude, but it is satisfying, dude. Like, oh, it feels so good, dude. There we go, and I have, um... Not too much space. That's, uh, not good. <laughs> And after all that, I got four stacks of wheat and 61 wheat. Um, you know what? I should probably just get three more because I think it's 32 wheat for one emerald, right? So which all means together. I have 64, I have five stacks now, so I should get 10 emeralds just from that. And then same with rotten flesh. One, but I have a lot more rotten flesh than wheat. But you know, it's just some extra emeralds. Well, I mean... To be honest, the villager breeder is, like, it's it's nothing special. <laughs> I didn't, like, decorate it or anything. It's really just a dirt hut that has a bunch of villagers in it. You can all hear them. Sound. What are you doing up here? Oh, no. You're my cleric. Shoot. Well, um, need a trade with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you really can trade a lot with him. Get, 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 get back in the hole. Like, oh, frick. This is why I hate working with villagers, dude, sometimes. They're just annoying. Thank you. Nope. Get, I swear, get in the hole. Ah, no. 
Yeah. Might need to fix that a little bit better, but um, this is, yeah, this is a villager breeder. There's a bunch of beds, quite a few babies, which is good. And they're, okay. Um, <laughs> close your eyes, I guess. And uh, where's my farmer? My farmer's over there. Just gonna peek on them. Oh, the kids are gonna get in the way. There we go. Nice. Another one. <laughs> Let's trade with you, buddy. We got quite a bit of wheat for you. It's actually only 20. I thought it was 32 for some reason. Exactly 34. Wow. Well, and you are the one who trades me mending books, so I can only buy one for now. But yeah, this is the this is how I get my mending books. Oh my god. Oh, I just missed it. The <laughs> librarian's glasses overlapped. What the heck, dude? That's terrifying. That's terrifying, dude. <laughs> he has no face. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, see? That's what a librarian and farmer would look like. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Bro, why is there so many iron golems also? There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. Like, dude, three iron golems. I've seen two, but three seems like a lot. <laughs> Jeez. So what I can do is, with the helmet, we can add mending to it. So now we have a mending helmet. Perfect. And then protection for it. And we add thorns to Are you joking me? All right. I just had to mine just a little bit of coal to get to uh, level 8. <laughs> and I know that I actually just used fortune. But now my diamond helmet was prepared. That's why it took a while. Because the mending had to do this and the pickaxe to full to full health, but um, now it's back to normal. So now, with those eight levels, we can put thorns too on our pants. So now I just need to be careful with the villager outside my house hitting me, or he'll take damage. But this could actually save me. Uh, for example, if I go AFK, <laughs> this has happened to me one time in an old hardcore world. That's actually how I lost it. I went AFK in my house. I had a door and everything, so you think I would be safe, right? Well, um, I forgot that zombies can actually break through doors. One zombie broken through my door, and it's a zombie. I had full netherite armor with like every enchantment except for thorns, and I died to it because I was AFK and he just kept hitting me and hitting me, and eventually I died, bro. Like, what? That's why thorns too could save me. So now, take this, and we have thorns too, and there we go. Uh, thorns too, diamond leggings. Now that we have decent armor, I think it's finally time. That we head to the nether. Let's just see. Do I have a flint and steel? Out of all these times, I've never crafted a flint and steel. Really? Bro. <laughs> what have I been doing? So, um... I really want... I kind of want a cool room for our nether portal. Um... So, you know what? I think when I'm making my nether portal, I just don't... I don't want to make a classic nether portal. <laughs> right? Who, who wants that? We are going to make a pretty cool one that is going to go, I think, right up there. That would be cool. Um, and I'm thinking of using copper, because I haven't used copper really at all a lot. And um, I just want to try using it, because there is a lot of copper down here. There's, I don't even know if it'll be enough, because copper is... It's annoying, because each one takes, like, nine of it to do, especially stairs, but... uh. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll just grab all that's down here. So with all this copper, I think I want, um, so an auto smelter would be very helpful. So literally all it is is just a chest with a hopper leading into a furnace, leading into another chest. <laughs> I know, it's, a, it's crazy, so uh, I guess that's what we'll do. So literally all we do for an auto smelter is we put, do I need two chests really? So we apparently put a chest down here, or a double chest or whatever. We'll do it right here. We then put a hopper there, and uh, you know what? I'm out of iron. I need to get a lot of iron. Hold up. I'm going to get a lot of iron and wood because, uh, dude, I have, like, I have nothing, bro. I'm cutting corners right now. <laughs> Holy crap. This vein is huge. I just got 25 iron from that one vein. I mean, it could also be just the fortune kicking in, but... 25 iron, that's, uh, that's plenty enough. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two chests on here, well, a double chest, basically, right there. We're gonna have two hoppers leading up to, uh, here, where this hopper would be. And we're gonna have two blast furnaces up here. Hopper. This thing is bigger than I thought it would be. Uh. Let me think about this. 
So if my memory is correct, um, I think you put a furnace there, five iron on top, and three smithstone at the bottom. Yep, and then you get a blast furnace, which is a uh, let's just say a uh, a little bit way better than a normal furnace for. Uh, but it, the payoff is it only smelts ore, which um, could be a shame. So you can't do food or like you can't do stone. I don't think either. So that's a a little bit of a bummer. So, and you have two blast furnaces like that, two like that. Then I need two more hoppers, it looks like. So I need to smelt some more iron. I guess we can test how this thing works, though. Yeah, you can see that this blast furnace goes way quicker. But it actually, it's just way more quicker. It doesn't actually... I think also... So you, when you do hoppers this way, I don't think you do get um, XP from it. But I think I did learn a way that if you just put... Um, how do you make a lever? How do you make a lever? I'm an idiot. It's cobblestone and sticks, not that. But I think if you do place two levers like this and then you put them down like that, then I think you do get the uh, XP. We need another thing in there. But yeah. And then we just place two hoppers like that on top. And then the auto smelter... Okay, then that stays in. Interesting. So now if we put uh, half uh, some coal in there, and then we take all of this and just put it in here like that, then this should work, I think, right? Wait, don't want redstone. Let's see. Also, what I do need to do is for this copper to be, well, oxidized. So that means that I'm going to need to place the copper all out and... Uh, I don't even know how long it takes for copper to oxidize. I think a long time, which uh, is kind of a uh, does kind of suck in a bit. But um, we'll see what happens. No, 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 no! Don't hit me either, dude. Oh, he he could die by just hitting me because uh, I have thorns too. Oh, that could have been a disaster. But uh, what I need a lot of is obsidian. I I realized I kind of want to make a bigger Nether portal than just the required amount. So I'm going to grab quite a bit of it. Also, it should be interesting to see how much um, efficiency 5 affects mining obsidian. Because normally obsidian, I think it takes like 13 or 15 seconds to mine. Let's see how much faster it is with efficiency 5. Jeez, this is a, this is a mess. This is when I just got 14. So, let's see. Oh, dude. That's so fast, dude. What? Are you kidding me, dude? Ugh. It also doesn't even matter if I'm underwater too. Depth Strider 2, Respiration 3, and Aqua Infinity, dude. I can literally just mine blocks underwater like no problem now, dude. Oh, it's so nice. So to be honest, I think 40 obsidian should do fine. That's all I'm getting for now, but at least I know where to come back if I need more obsidian. So, like, I want to make basically a staircase leading up to the grand portal itself and using some copper, but the staircase itself, this is actually a really good place. So, if we start kind of by right here, kind of like that, and uh, I don't even know how I want to do this. Um, Then we just put more copper blocks down and just wait for it to oxidize. I don't even know how long it takes. To wait, dude. It refl That's really cool, though, dude. I like that a lot. Also, to be honest, um, so I have this little staircase here. A really good railing design is actually kind of just like doing... Like, well... Nope, I made a mistake. It should have been a out one more. Um... It, it, you know, just to, just ignore that. Um, but basically, if you just kind of add kind of this design to it, hold up, let me. I can't even reach up there. Then it adds a really kind of nice like feature. I love this kind of wall. All creatures. First up, we need to change uh, all these ranks here because they're just vanilla and a little bit boring. Okay, I've deleted a few rows. 
Okay, honestly, not bad. I actually, I like that a lot. And then, yeah, and then it, it goes up. I even added kind of a little uh, bit here, and then, like that. Let's add something instead of there. Because, to be honest, wait, no, I did it the wrong way. Hold up. <laughs> And then now that we've finished kind of this staircase that's going to lead up to the portal eventually, I also think it would be really cool to... I completely forgot about Hans, dude. We gotta we gotta find you a home at some point. But Hans, did you have a baby? An egg? Sorry. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted. But it would be... Uh, I think it would be really... Look really cool, dude, if we could add, like, pillars here. Like, three pillars or something. Uh, let me mess around with it. Dude, actually, I like this a lot. There would be three pillars here, the, a big one in the middle, of course, and then supporting this portal. Okay, I, I dig it. All right, boom. There is um, all of my obsidian, and ow, that hurt. Let's see how big this thing is. Uh, wow. Okay, it's um, it's definitely big enough. Uh, that's for sure. Okay, uh, it'll look better after we add some details. It's not just gonna be like this, but uh. We'll, uh, we'll change it. Okay, I actually like that pillar quite a lot. And then this middle one would basically just be, like, a bigger kind of... Just a bigger one, wouldn't it? Just, like, add those and then... Like that? To be honest, I don't really know. <laughs> so apparently copper changes to its next stage every 20 minutes. Like, bro, yeah, bro, this hasn't even really... Oxida nothing is uh, approximate uh, oxidized yet So I might need to afk a bit just to get these all like oxidized and stuff uh, Let's see flip these and then take that Is that it? Oh Wow, okay, that was um This was it okay, um, I think this should be enough. We just need to wait for this to oxidize now All right, and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit Bro, I'm so stupid. So I went away, dude, for like freaking an hour, dude. Only one block of copper has uh, done anything. And I found out why. Apparently, the best way to oxidize copper is to space it out. Yep, who knew that to oxidize copper would be to actually let oxygen like freaking go in between, dude. That's why none of this has been working, dude. <laughs> I'm so stupid, bro. I'm so stupid. So I kind of basically have to do this ridiculous system where I put them all apart. So, okay, like, listen, give me slack, bro. I do not know a lot about copper, which is why this issue happened. Like, you have to just space him out a lot, and then... I just had them all in close proximity. You guys probably all thought I was an idiot, huh? Just pr <laughs> putting them all close together. Bro, what a waste of time. But... Uh, I guess this will make it faster, so, yeah. All right, there we go. Now they are all spread out from each other, and um, now we just have to wait. Yeah, see? They're already starting to expose. Now we just have to wait, and then picking this up will be a bit of a mess. But uh, I guess I just will have to go AFK again. Um, I'll actually, I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, dude, holy crap. Even this, yeah, this is already... Uh, Onto its stage. This is, uh... To be honest, it'll go by pretty quick, I think. We'll just have to wait. Um, I might actually do something in the meantime. What? To be honest, the the copper is actually oxidizing pretty fast. You know, it's, it's only been, like, I want to say, like, 12 minutes. And, yeah, we already got the maxed out. Some of them are the maxed out. Whether... You know what I might actually do? I might actually try to get... I might try to get... Um, something with silk touch. Yeah, hold up. You know what I'm actually going to try to do? I don't actually know, to be honest, if I can even be that far away, but I think I'm going to actually try to get some diamonds. Let's see. I need some more diamonds. Okay, I can't tell if that's lapis or if... Th okay, that's... That's lapis. Okay. <laughs> that, um... It kind of does look like diamonds, though, dude. Honestly, though, it does. Oh, shoot, bro. Let's go. We just found uh, diamonds. I was just mining and I didn't even notice them. Let's let's freaking go. 
Let's go. Okay, so I kind of just grinded my uh, XP farm. I got to level 30. Um, and there's a reason for that, too, because I just had nothing to do. I was just waiting and waiting. So I thought, you know, it'd be really handy to eventually get a bee farm. A bee farm, so I can get wax for, like, all the um, blocks. So, um, I got this diamond pickaxe, and it got silk touch at the very bottom. So now we can get a silk touch pickaxe, which will be very useful. So now we can hopefully get some beehives and, uh, start making a bee farm. Now we're off on the hunt for bees. Oh, I'm sure this won't go wrong at all. <laughs> Ooh, bees! We found them. We found bees. Okay, so now I just watched three bees go in. So now... Let's go, total bee location, which is, I think, transport three bees in a bee nest. Let's go, dude. We now have one bee nest. I, I want two. Let's see if we can get two. Oh my gosh, how many sheep are there? Look at over there. There's some sheep here. And then, dude, this is, bro, this is like sheep island right here, bro. And, um, how do I get home? Shoot. <laughs> Oh, let's go. I found home. Wow, look at it in the night. That's that's good. We found it, and we're coming home with a total of four beehives, which is a great amount. All right, I think it's time to start uh, mining some of these. Yeah, so let's start mining some of these oxidized copper. Now, apparently, observers require quartz, so I think we will have to enter the nether. Um, you know what? Should we just light it? Let's, uh, well, the portal is now lit. Dude, that looks so cool with complimentary shaders. Alright, let's, um, what? Was there a piglin that just, oh. Well, isn't this a great spawn? Perfect. Dude, what? What a perfect spawn, huh? Right next to a... Hey, no, I don't, I don't want that. But, uh, what a perfect spawn, huh? You know what? Um, let's just try to make this area safe real quick. And, uh, you know what? We're just gonna... We're just going to, uh... How do you... How do you break another portal? You really just have to really just break it like that. That seems like uh, a little bit interesting. I don't really want lots of zombified piglins coming through, and uh, you you can get out of here. You can get out of here. Yep. We don't we don't need any of you. <laughs> All right, and then we make two shears just like uh, just like this. Darn it! This is annoying, dude. Um, my inventory situation is getting pretty bad, to be honest. But I placed this chest under here, so basically what happens is... Oh, there's hoppers that collect whatever. I'm gonna do honeycombs in both of these, so... Hopefully this works. So I think you would just do something like that. And then, yeah, that works. Perfect. And then we just wait for those guys to get that. Oh, I hope I did this right, and then after they go into the hive, then I can do the other one. Okay, they go to the flowers. <laughs> I hope this works, dude. They just like to spin around. <laughs> uh, yep. They go like that. Let's go. We got two. We did it, guys. Oh, jeez. Yep, it um, it definitely does work. <laughs> there is just a lot of bees. Oh boy, that's a that's a lot. Yeah, so let's see. It's 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 kind of hard to see in there. Well, well, that's that is good. But then, just why doesn't? Wait a minute. If the redstone is over here, do I have to do something like this? Is that what I have to do? <laughs> this is confusing. Huh. Let's go! It worked. It worked. This works. So now we got honeycomb. Let's go! Now that we actually have quite a stuff, I think we can start trying to, uh, trying to build this thing, you know? We can place block. I'm gonna just try to find a design that looks pretty good. 
What? That doesn't actually look too bad. I kind of like that. Yeah, just in each in another corner, and then we can do some on top. All right, I finished the copper roof. I really like the roof. I kind of, I, I do like the copper stuff. I just need one more crying obsidian. I do not have a lot of crying obsidian. I really like the look of crying obsidian, and maybe also eventually I'll do like crying obsidian up there and there. But um, that's it for now, and I'm I'm pretty proud of it. Yeah. And then finally, I know we already did this, but it is time to light the portal. Dude, that looks so cool. Let's let's see what it looks like from here. I'm happy with that, to be honest, dude. I like that quite a bit. I might do a little bit more detailing underneath here. But look at that, dude. This should be a um, not very safe way of getting down there. Yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> I do not know what I'm going to do, dude. If I fall down there, I'm dead. Unless I like land in the lava and they can get out. But, bro, I don't know how I'm going to get down. <laughs> You know what? I could just land here and uh I'll be fine. I have feather foundry. Yeah, not even full heart of damage. We are in the nether, ladies and gentlemen. And there is a warp forest, dude. This is a crazy like this is actually a crazy kind of nether. I like I, it almost seems amplified, doesn't it? The warp forest goes up there. And there's something over there. My only is that a nether fortress? Oh my gosh, dude, we Seriously, dude? Bro. But, um, my only goal, get soul sand. I'm gonna try to get that, which might be pretty dangerous. Oh my gosh, soul sand, let's go. I need, I need some of this sweet, sweet soul sand. You'll, you guys will find out soon. No, 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 no. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to kill you. Yep. I didn't know the penguin still took fire damage. That's interesting. <laughs> And we made it back home safe, let's go. <laughs> Maybe some of you didn't know, but if you play Soul Sand there, and then put fire on top of it, it turns blue, dude. Which, it, honestly... Wait, did I just accidentally pull it up? I accidentally broke it, but look how cool that looks, dude. Let's go. Bro, that actually looks sick, and then I just did magma for there. That actually looks... I really like that, dude. That's awesome! And then what we can also do is wax that off and put some wax on for an achievement. Well, that's not wax off, but we can just add wax because this will make it look a little bit better because there's some leather bits kind of. It'll just make it look good, you know? As you can see, add some wax, and uh, we need to get rid of this grass. Or all this grass. I don't, I don't need any of this. But as you can see, I'm, pretty pr I'm happy with it. To be honest, this looks. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm happy. And in the next video, hopefully, we can add a path using some crimson wood as slabs heading all the way down there, and then we can get to there from our house. But thank you guys for watching this video, guys. If you want to see more Minecraft videos, thank, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Good bye.